Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Today, we got something really special, because we're going to make some ice cream. Not just any ice cream, we're going to make some cannabis-infused ice cream. So here we have the book from the Masters, the Ben and Jerry ice cream book. And today we're going to make some French vanilla ice cream with a Canadian twist. We're going to put some maple into it. And that is really going to help cover the flavor of the cannabis. Um, so one thing that I really do not like is the flavor of cannabis. I, I cannot stand eating it. It is... I just find it terrible. It, the taste is just not enjoyable. Um, I'd rather smoke it. Smoking it is awesome. Tastes way better, I find. And um, yeah, let's just not eat it straight and gross. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some ice cream today here from scratch. So to do that, we're gonna need some heavy whipping cream. We're gonna need some 2% milk. If you have homogenized milk, better. And yes, our milk comes in a bag here in Canada. You're going to need some vanilla extract to go with our maple. Um, you're going to need some cannabis tincture. Um, tincture seems to work really well. And you're gonna need some sugar. Um, and the last thing you're going to need is an ice cream maker. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys another recipe so you don't need an ice cream maker, like if you don't have one, you don't have to buy one. Uh, they're only about 45 bucks though, and I'll put a link down below if you want one. Um, Cause we get a lot of use out of our ice cream maker. Now, um, where do we start? I guess, let's just start. Okay, let's just start. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer so you can see, and we'll go from there. So now that we got this stuff here, the only thing I did forget was actually eggs. So we need two large eggs. So two eggs, I'm gonna put them in here for now. We're gonna go from there. Okay, so I'm gonna put our eggs away. And we're gonna put a recipe book away because we don't really need that anymore. We know what we're doing. And you guys would have seen it on the screen already anyway. So I'm gonna move this. Look at that, perfect. Didn't even get any eggshells in there. Freaking bammo, just like that, guys. Okay, so we're gonna mix our uh, wet ingredients here and then we're gonna mix our eggs. And then we're gonna put our sugar in here because we need to mix our sugar with our eggs. So I'm gonna give this just a little, a little wisp. So now we can see this egg here, it's kind of just broken up a little bit. We're gonna pull out our shake. Okay, so for sugar, we're going to use three quarters of a cup. So I got a quarter cup here, we're gonna put three scoops. I don't know where my three quarter cup went. Three. There you go, guys. Three scoops of sugar and your two egg mix. And now we're just going to give this a good mix and it's going to come to a, kind of like an eggy, sugary paste. And that's what we're looking for. Like that. Oh, don't make a mess. Okay, here's where the fun part comes. So, we got our maple extract and we got our vanilla extract. So, I'm gonna give one teaspoon of vanilla and I'm gonna give one and maybe a tiny bit more of the maple because my wife likes maple a lot. So, we're gonna make her some ice cream today that she's gonna like. So here is the one, one scoop of vanilla. And then we're gonna go with the maple extract. And like I said, maple is kind of a Canadian favorite per se. Oh boy, and I can smell it already. It already smells like ice cream. One and a, and a little bit more like that. 
So I'm just gonna give this a little. All right, so there's our mix with our sugar, our egg. We now have our flavoring in it. So what we're going to need next is we're going to use one cup of heavy cream. Now this is where the recipe could vary a little bit um, because you could put a cup and a half to a cup and a half of milk. And I find that the ice cream is better because it's fatter and it just tastes better. But what we're going to do here today is we're going to use a cup of heavy cream and then we're gonna use two cups of 2% milk. And once again, you could use homogenized milk and it would be better because it's fattier. And the fattier things are, the better they taste. So here we go. Woohoo! One cup of heavy cream. And it looks like there's just about a cup in here perfectly. That is one full cup of heavy cream. This here's one cup. And there is our second cup. So now for the next step, we got our cannabis tincture, okay? Now for this here, the recommended dose is about a half a teaspoon per dose. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick, I don't know, two full doses, or let's go four, because we can split this ice cream in four. So let's go two full teaspoons of cannabis tincture. So that's gonna be 10 milliliters. Oh, I need to uh, take off my limiter here, okay. So here we go, here we have one. And here we have two. All right, make sure we get the last drop of it in there. We need to get the last drop, so there we go. And see here it's floating. So what we're going to do now is we are going to mix this like a madman. Now this here is a step that you really can't mix or mess up on. You really do have to mix it pretty good. Um, I don't recommend using a blender or anything like that because you don't want to actually mix the cream into whipping cream. That's not what we're trying to do here. Um, we just want to make sure that it's all mixed in really well, that egg and sugar and then this tincture oil. Um, you see when we put it in, it was kind of floating a little bit. So we want to really make sure it's mixed up nice and well and we're not going to get it uh, uneven sections of our ice cream. But we'll see. Once we put it in the machine, it kind of mixes it up as well. So we will be good. Okay, so what we're going to do here now, I'm going to get this ice cream machine ready. And here we have our freezer bowl. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our blade in here already. We're gonna put this on the top. We're gonna have this right ready to go because when you do this, you can't mess around. It's gotta be started right away. So let's bring this goodness forward. And I'm gonna give this a good mix. We're gonna turn on the machine and it's gonna get really loud. And uh, this is pretty much it guys. 20 minutes in here and our ice cream is done. So I'm going to show you how to do another little re quick recipe after, as soon as we're done this here. Um, so stay with us. All right, guys. The machine is on. We're giving this one last quick stir, and we're ready to go. Good to the last drop, guys. Get to the last drop, just like you got me.
All right, so we got our freezer bowl here. The point of this is we got to do this quick. Now, I've taken a taste of this ice cream while she was cooking, and wow, this is pretty awesome. It doesn't even taste like the cannabis oil at all, and that is exactly what I'm looking for because I am a big baby when it comes to eating this stuff. It's really gross. I do not like it, but this here is freaking awesome. The... Um, uh, what do we call it? The maple did a really good job covering it. Probably better than I've even tried some chocolate with mint. Um, the maple covered it pretty dang good. So. Just going to clean off my blade here quick. And we got to get this out as quick as possible because it will start to freeze to the sides. And that is not fun to scoop out. So, unless you wanted to make a milkshake, I would not consider this ice cream to be done yet. What we're going to do is put it in this bowl, and we are going to mix it up a little bit, and then we're going to put it back in the freezer for about a half hour. So, one thing I think I didn't mention is when we were mixing it too, um, we could have stopped, and instead of putting in the uh, maple, we could have put in a quarter cup of chocolate or cocoa powder, and that would have turned it into some beautiful chocolate ice cream as well. But um, I have eaten so many chocolate ice cream with infused that I have really not found it to taste that well. And uh, yeah. So anyways, for this here, we used our CBD oil. So this here is more or less CBD ice cream than it is um, THC ice cream. But there is a little bit of THC in it. Um, but this here is more for CBD. This is more for when we're having a bad night at night or got a bad migraine or something, this is what we're going to use. So this is perfect. What we're going to do is just give it a quick little mix. Give it the little one-two and you can see the ice cream here guys. So what we're going to do, put this here in the freezer for a half hour and shebang. Got. But we're not just stopping there. Oh no. Alrighty. So this here is the next step that we're going to do. I have some really awesome jam here that uh, my wife's mom had made. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take four spoonfuls and we're going to put it in this bowl. And we're going to add some more uh, oil to it. So this here oil is going to be for my ice cream. We're going to make a little uh, maple strawberry sundae. I know it sounds gross, but it's actually pretty good. Uh, but you could use this with vanilla ice cream. You can use this with all kinds of ice cream. And in fact, like I said, you don't even need the machine. You can go and get some ice cream from the uh, supermarket. You can mix your cannabis tincture with it. And uh, it's going to be pretty much the exact same, except not as good, obviously, because homemade ice cream is so much better. I'm telling you. So, got my spoon here, so I'm going to go one, two, three, and four. And I'm going to put a dual dose in here for this as well. So one full teaspoon. Alrighty. And now we're just gonna mix this up. And this here will completely take away the taste. There is going to be no taste of your cannabis oil at all in the in the uh, in the homemade jam here. So none of this is probably really healthy for you. Like I'm gonna say, like I said with the cream and everything, this is not uh, oh eat this and get skinny. This is eat this and get fat. But this is gonna be an eat this and it tastes freaking amazing. So you got to consider that. Oh wow. 
So there you have it, guys. We're going to come back in a couple minutes when our ice cream is frozen, and we're going to have a little treat. All right, guys, so it has been about 45 minutes. Our ice cream should be perfectly hard and ready to go. So let's go pull it out, and let's see. Look at that ice cream, guys. Look at that. That is perfect. That is nice. Solid ice cream. What we're going to do, we're going to take some scoopages of ice cream. I'm throwing it everywhere here. Um, and here we go. So technically right now it's still like nine o'clock in the morning. So breakfast for champions. Wow. So I'm actually pretty surprised at how well the, uh, the maple actually covers the uh, cannabis, the tincture. Because I am not a big fan of that stuff at all. That stuff is gross. This is really good. This is some pretty good ice cream. It doesn't have an overpowering taste that you find in, in the tinctures if you're just going to take it. Um, and if you wanted to turn this into a milkshake, um, we're going to be making some more ice cream too that doesn't have uh, cannabis oil in it. So this is what I'm going to use with my uh, jam that I had made earlier. So this is the jam with the uh, cannabis infused oil. This stuff here you can't even taste. There's even a hint of cannabis in it which is pretty awesome so i uh, hope you guys enjoy this video i'm gonna continue eating my ice cream and you guys have yourself a great day because i know i sure am nine o'clock in the morning getting some cannabis ice cream oh yeah take care guys